Hello, my name is Joel Lavada, and I am the Franchise King. I wanted to teach you a really, really cool technique that you can use when you're calling existing franchisees of the franchise opportunity you're interested in possibly purchasing. This is a great technique to use. Now, you're probably wondering how much you're going to be able to make in the franchise you're interested in if you decide to launch that franchise business. It's like the most important question, right? I mean, why invest $150,000, $300,000 $300, or more into a franchise if you're not going to be able to make any money? So you need to know how much you can make. The real way and the only way, as far as I'm concerned, to find that out is to talk to existing franchisees, the people that have already written the check and are in business. They're in business, the business you want to eventually own. So here's how to do it. You have to take yourself out of the picture and you have to take the franchisee that you're calling out of the picture. The, the best way to do it is for me to really demonstrate it. But what you're doing is you were doing it in, in a third person. I call it a third person to the second power for all you math folks out there. What you're doing is you're taking the franchisee out of the picture and yourself out of the picture when you're asking that all important how much you can make money-wise question and, and win break even is. Let me show you how to do it. Let's pretend that that uh, I am you and uh, I'm, I'm calling a franchisee, all right? And let's say that, uh, that we've already established a pretty good rapport with this uh, franchisee. And this is maybe the second phone call you're gonna have, the one where you're really, really going to find out how much you're gonna be able to make. So this is how to do it. Ring, ring. The phone's even ring anymore. Anyway, hey, Bill, this is Joel Lababa. I'm that guy in Cleveland who's looking at, uh, right, right. I'm thinking of buying that the, the, the sandwich franchise that you own uh, for Cleveland, of course. And I have a couple kind of important questions for you. The first one is, if one were to invest in the, in the franchise that you own, um, what would one expect as a time frame for breaking even? Now, what I want you to do, people, is wait until the franchisee answers the question. In other words, when you ask the question, be quiet. Let's do it again. Yeah, Bill, I'm wondering if one would, would purchase the franchise, uh, what would break even time be, do you think? Oh, okay, good. Okay, so for you, it was 10 months. Fantastic. I have another question for you. If one were to buy the franchise, when could one reasonably expect to bring in some money, some profit? Once again, remember folks, you have to be quiet after you answer, after you ask the question. Let's do it again. If one, one would be not me, if one were to buy the franchise, not your franchise, Bill, if one were to buy the franchise, when could one reasonably expect to really start getting profitable? Oh, okay. So 17 months in, in your case? Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, and what could one reasonably expect to earn in the second year, third year in business after, after reaching break even? Oh, all right. $25,000 the first year after breaking even. And Oh, okay. So you're bringing home like $85,000 a year now for each location. Oh, that's fantastic. Bill, thank you so much. I'm going to put it in my spreadsheet and my business plan. I really, really appreciate you, uh, you helping me out. Now, what just happened there? Did I put Bill on the spot? Did I ask Bill how much his business was making? I didn't ask him how much his business was making, but he told me anyway, because I took him out of the picture. Did I ask how much I would make as a franchisee if I bought the franchise? No. I, I asked if one would buy the franchise. So what I did was I took two people out of the equation and really made it very comfortable for Bill to answer my question because I wasn't talking about him and I wasn't asking for me. I was asking for this hypothetical one person. I hope that makes sense for you. So, so the, the, the technique to use is not to ask the question as if you were asking the question and not to ask the question of Bill or whatever the franchise name, the franchisee's name is. You're just kind of doing it in a roundabout way 
It really, really works. And also remember, once you ask a question, to be quiet. I don't care how long it takes. Now, if you want to learn more techniques like that, I have hundreds of them when it comes to buying a franchise and researching a franchise. Work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Work with me. I'll show you exactly how to do this right so you can lower your risk and increase your profitability. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Ababa. Thanks for watching the video. And below, you'll find out how you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check out my Franchise Ownership Consultation Packages.